Hey, what's up, LEGO Technique fans? So we finished building the uh, Volvo uh, front loader. Um, added in some power functions lights. Um, it works great. There was a couple of little things that needed to get tweaked that I'm going to tell you about. Um, the first thing was in the back here. Uh, there was the fan was rubbing up against one of the wires that was going to the battery box. That was just a matter of bending the wire a little bit to give it a little clearance. It's a little tight back there. Uh, really no problem. Um, the other thing was uh, inside the unit there was uh, I noticed there was some wire that was underneath the motor was jumping around when the uh, it was being driven. So one of those wires I guess was bumping into one of the drive gears so again, that was just a matter of adjusting the position of the wire a little bit um, so that there's no rubbing. Uh, one other thing was that when it was being driven around, it would squeak. And it turned out that squeaking was coming from the fan, uh, basically touching this horizontal beam. Uh, so that was just a matter of pushing that fan back just a little tiny bit to give some clearance and that, that squeaking noise went away. Um, one other thing I noticed was that the bucket goes out of alignment uh, when, it, when it hits the stop, the high stop. So I'm just going to show you here. If I raise this up, um, when it hits the stop, there's actually clutches in these actuators that are supposed to protect the gears. Now the gear might skip a little bit, but the actuator uh, is supposed to prevent that from happening. So uh, when you hear that click, 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 it's usually most of it is coming from the clutch in the actuator, or it should be. Um, if I raise that up, you'll see what happens is that once it hits the stop, it'll click. Okay, and then what tends to happen is you'll see that the bucket, it's kind of hard to see it here, but the bucket, you see, went out of alignment. You see how it's lower on the right side? So uh, there's a very easy way to fix that, which is to lower the um, to lower the bucket down to the ground and then run it let it click a few times and that I found tends to straighten the bucket out and now you'll see when I raise it back up sorry that the bucket is now straightened back out okay so that's an easy way to straighten the bucket back out. Um, the other thing is you'll notice when you go all the way up to the top that you'll hear the motor start to strain before it bottoms out. So that'll tell you, here listen. Right there, you hear that? So that's telling you that you're getting ready to hit the stop. So you can avoid the stop by just listening to that. I'll just do it one more time so you can hear it. Right there, you heard that? Okay. So that's not an issue with uh, the tilt of the bucket because um, there's just one actuator there. So, and then you see the bucket is now pretty straight. It's actually completely straight. So, uh, okay, so now the lights, uh, what I did was very simply, um, I ran the power function light from the motor compartment up across the next to the IR receivers and then into the um, cabin and then basically just wrap the wire around these poles. Um, you're also going to need a couple more of these parts, these little black, um, sorry, these little black pieces which is basically just um, plug plugs in uh, with a one of those blue pins which has an axle on one end and a, and a regular round section on the other. So you need a couple of these pieces and the lights can plug right into there. Uh, the other thing I did was I put the block that's in the middle of the wire, I plug that into the engine on the side. You gotta be careful when you push this black piece down because it's kinda hard to see but there's a black piece. When you push that down make sure you support that green beam because that green beam can pop out and it's a real pain to put back in. And then basically you just drop the wire down 